Hey, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. It's been a little while since I've been able to do any videos because I got the notification to um, download Windows 10. And when I did, I wound up having some issues. One issue was my camera, I mean, my computer wouldn't even go online. The other issue was I couldn't find my camera, but I found my camera and now today I'm going to film my next video of our eight day cruise on the Carnival Sunshine and this port of call is St. Kitts. Uh, St. Kitts is a fairly new port of call for many of the ships, so most of us on this particular cruise had not been to St. Kitts. It was a beautiful island. I do have a video that I'm going to try to put on this along with some pictures toward the end. Hopefully I'll figure it out with this new program. But I'm just going to tell you a little bit about our experience at St. Kitts. Uh, one thing that I was a little disappointed in, we had found out as we were getting ready to leave the ship to go to St. Kitts that they did have an excursion. It was like 19 or $20, and it was to take you around the island. I wish I'd known about it a little bit sooner, because I think we would have taken it. Um, after um, the cruise and all, I've seen a lot of pictures posted of St. Kitts, and it's actually a very beautiful island. There's not much there. There's not much shopping. There is more shopping than like if you'd been to Freeport. Um, but I'm going to show you a little bit of what we got. Of course, I got my St. Kitts t-shirt. I got a, a St. Kitts t-shirt for my, my son. He's on a mission, and uh, so I thought it would be kind of fun for him to um, get this t-shirt, and he'll be able to see exactly where we went. Um, I do collect flags from each place that we go to, so it was kind of hard to find a flag because I don't like to get the big ones. I just like the small ones. But I did finally find this one. It goes like this. But um, And then another thing I like to collect in these ports of call are Christmas ornaments. And I couldn't find any Christmas ornaments. They kept saying, well, it's August. Christmas is until December. They'll be out in October. Well, I'm not going to be back in October. So, um, you know have Christmas ornaments available all year round. So those of us who collect them, which I think there's quite a few, can get a Christmas ornament. But what I did, I, they do have magnets. This is a magnet. And I found this little guy, and I'm gonna use him as a Christmas ornament. Saint it says St. Kitts on it. I think he's cute. My mom actually did find something that kind of looked like a Christmas ornament. And um, there was only one of them though, and it was a fish, and it, it, hang, it was, had a little hanger thing on it. And it say, said St. Kitts, but this will be fine. Now for our little freebie scavenger hunt thing. I actually got quite a few things while we were in St. Kitts. Uh, one place gave these pearl earrings. Another place gave this heart charm. I'm excited to do something with this with my beads. Um, another place we got this diamond. It's not really a diamond. But it's some type of a crystal. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Um, we did get, we went to Diamonds International, got our, our little charm bracelet. And the charm for St. Kitts are these monkeys. I wound up with two of them. Again, I don't know how I got two of them. But, <coughs> excuse me, cough again. Um, monkeys actually represent St. Kitts. I'm not for sure why. Apparently, there must be a lot of them, but I do know when we got off the ship, there were a lot of vendors there that had these little monkeys that had little cute hats, and you could get your pictures taken with them. I think it was like $10. You know, I'm not for sure how much I agree with that. I know I was told that in the past there used to be a ton of them. I just saw one vendor, so not for sure how much longer that will last. Okay, some other free things we got. Uh, remember in St. Martin, I got this pendant. Well, I got one at St. Kitts also. And then I got um, a, a necklace from this, this company. It was a stone in it that represents amethyst, so it's purple. <coughs> and the last freebie thing I got was this little coin. 
It says paint tips on it. That's one side. And the other side, I guess they had a lot of um, salt plantations. And that re represents one of the salt plantations. Um, another freebie thing, not freebie, sorry. Another thing I bought was this necklace. Um, these are actually seeds with wood beads. Um, the seeds are actually called Job beads. Job as in the Bible Job, J-O-B. I actually think I'm going to redo this. There was only one of these. I paid five bucks for it. And my mom's like, is there another one? I thought, I don't like the length of it. So I think I'm going to redo it into a shorter necklace and add some other stuff to it. And then <clears throat> um, make two of them and I can give one to my mom. And then last thing I, oh, next to the last thing. I have to show you something else I forgot. I got these earrings. I think they're really cool. This part is made of uh, coconut shell. Of course, these are wood beads here. Again, <clears throat> I may redo these. I could probably get two earrings out of them. Um, the way they're done, I'm not for sure they'll stay. And I'm a little afraid I might lose one of the triangles there. And so I think I may just secure it. Maybe make two necklaces. And again, I can give my mom one. And then the last thing I got, this was on my list besides getting a t-shirt at St. Kitts. On this cruise, I wanted to get a dress. And so I got this real pretty purple dress. It's coming off blue on the video, but it's actually really bright purple and white with a black background. And I know I worked to church the other day and I, I got a lot of compliments. Okay, so enough of the stuff I got. Uh, St. Kitts, like I said, is a beautiful island. It's not very big. Um, we did get our little maps for shopping. So I'll show you. That's all it is. Not very big. Uh, they do have a little mall area that we went into. Not a whole lot there, but once you get past the mall area is actually when you get into the actual St. Kitts area. And it didn't look like it was in a very good part of town. I don't know. I don't think all of St. Kitts would be like that. So I really didn't feel comfortable leaving that area. Um, let's see. That night, um, after we got done with our little bit of shopping, got back on the ship. And that's actually the day I did my the rope challenge, which I had posted pictures in the very first video. And I'll probably post some pictures on this one. Um, we... Uh, I'm trying to think what we ate that day. It's, <laughs> this is why I wanted to shoot the videos as soon as I got uh, done with the cruise. But it's been, um, October 1st is coming up in a few days here. So it's been a couple of months. So trying to remember what we did. Um, we did eat at um, the Blue Iguana. That is a really good place to try. I highly recommend that. One thing I did find out afterwards because I ate there another day. When you go through with the blue iguana, you pick what you want on your flour tortilla. And those tortillas are huge. I found out later on they do have small ones. So you don't have to get a giant burrito. You can get a small, like a soft taco size. And um, I wish I had known about that. But I went back and did that another day. That night, we did um, get to see a juggler. His name was... Dana Tyson. He's actually a gold medalist. I didn't know they actually had gold medalist jugglers, but he was really good and he was really funny. We enjoyed that show. Um, the video that night, I'm trying to remember. Um, I don't think we went and saw the movie, um, but we actually, after the show, we kind of walked around a little bit, and they had an 80s trivia out in the main lobby. Um, I actually was in high school in the 70s. By the time I was in the 80s, I was in college and then married and having kids and all. So um, I wasn't a teeny barber at the time, but it was fun uh, listening to the music because after we had our little trivia time, um, we everybody sang and had... Um, Donkey was our uh, cruise director, and he's pretty entertaining, um, and that was a lot of fun. Um, what else? I think that's it. Nothing really much went on in uh, St. Kitts. One thing I do want to share with you, though, um, on our little Facebook group, 
we not only had a door decoration contest, but we also had a gift exchange. And I had done this on a Disney cruise that I went to not long ago, and I thought that was really fun, and I said I'd probably never do it again. But I decided to do it this time, and I'm glad I did. I'll show you what I made everybody. Um, this is what I made everybody. It had our dates and, you know, Carnival Sunshine on it. It's to represent a sun. I actually had something where you can hang it on. I put this on my door. Um, but I, you know, I figured people could put it in their scrapbooks or whatever. Um, some of the things I got, I'm not going to show you all of them. It was kind of fun, uh, every day to come back and see some things on, uh, hanging on my door. But I got this little anchor. It has the ports of call that we went on it. Somebody made this. It's going to hang on my tree. In the meantime, I have a curio cabinet where I keep a lot of my stuff that I get from cruises. Um, this little thing I thought was fun. And when I opened it up, it said something about greetings from Wilmington, North Carolina. I got really excited because we used to actually live in North Carolina. In fact, our two youngest children were born there. It was the favorite place, my favorite place that we've ever lived since we've been married. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't mind retiring there, especially if my daughter and her husband wind up in North Carolina. We might look at that. But this was a, a fun message in a bottle. Um, pen and paper, some little frisbees, some beach balls. These were kind of fun. Somebody had uh, got a lay. And um, this was also from the mustache thing, a little um, purse thing. This might be fun to put some little change or whatever in. Um, another little ornament thing that will probably hang on my tree. Anyway, if you do get the chance to do a gift exchange, do it. It's fun. You don't have to have any expensive thing. In fact, one of the things we got was the very first thing I got that was kind of funny because of a um, tropical storm that we might have been in. We got rain, little rain ponchos, and you get those for like a dollar at Walmart or whatever. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you um, enjoy my review of our Sunshine Cruise with uh, Carnival Sunshine. Stay tuned for the next port of call, which is Puerto Rico, my favorite place. And this is Gordon and I, the Tapping Flamingo, signing out for now. Hope you have a wonderful day. Here is the island of St. Kitts, or at least the side that we see off of our balcony. And this, I believe, is Nevis.